We've been told that the lynx have made a kill further up the valley, so we get back on the trail and keep stalking our predator's prints up into the forest. The tracks here are very different to before. Deep in the snow, big, long space between them, which means that the animal here is moving much, much faster. And the reason for that, we can see up ahead of us in the snow. That is the kill that we've come up here to find. Wow. So this is the kill, exactly where we were told it would be. It's a, uh, a young female roe deer, and the flesh is still quite movable, hasn't frozen solid, so it's relatively fresh. The way this would have been killed is here, right at the throat, the lynx would come in, clamp its teeth around the windpipe and strangle the air out of the animal. Death would come really, really quickly, probably within a minute. In all probability, after it killed this animal, it was frightened away by something and it might come back and feed again tonight. So our best chance of getting a shot of a lynx is for us to put up a remote camera here, focus down on this animal and hope that it comes back in the night. It's a long shot, but it's our best chance.